Hey everyone, uh, I'm Colin from my historical photographer presentation. I've chosen Don McCullen. Uh, Don McCullen is a British photojournalist born October 9th, 1935 in Finsbury Park, London, United Kingdom. Uh, McCullen primarily focused on the tragic side of photography and often captured his images that were difficult for other people to look at. Um, he has one of the longest standing careers as a photographer and captured photos for the over uh, 50 years. He's still capturing photos now. Um, he spent most of his life capturing the horrors of other countries across the globe. Uh, most of his work was placed in London's East End, Asia, Africa, and, and the Middle East. Uh, his career in photography was more of an accident than a choice. After returning from his military postings in 1959, uh, he photographed his friends and their local gang using a twin postings um, reflex Rolleroid camera. And if you don't know what that looks like, it looks like that. These really old style cameras. Um, he actually sent this to a local uh, newspaper editor and they offered him commission and his career began from there. Um, now, this was the first camera he started out using, but as he got later in his career, um, he did a lot of war photography. He needed something that he could be more mobile with, so he used the Nikon F. Uh, like I said, he couldn't have a big camera coming around and he needed something that could get clear shots and this got the job done. Uh, he needed something that he could run with just in case the situation got dangerous because a lot of the times he was in war zones. Um, so like I said, he was a very dark style uh, photographer. He captured a thing like a lot of photos that were unpopular um, for people to go take, but people found his photography very interesting. Um, they captured the story like emotion and pain that not a lot of people knew about across the globe. Um, and most of his work was done during uh, Vietnam. So, uh, in the 60s and 70s, he traveled there and uh, he spent many months following around the American and Vietnamese soldiers and photographing their lives. Uh, he's captured most of these photos with his Nikon up again. Uh, and according to Don, the biggest challenge when taking these photos was not dying. He was shot once. Uh, a lot of the photos he took were in very dangerous war zones where there were constant firefights going along. And as you can see through a lot of his photos, that they're not. Uh, very calm situations they're typically very intense um, and he saw these pictures to be so important that he put his own life on the line uh, just to show the world what war really looked like um, these are what like a lot of these photos are um, one of his most famous photos was called the soldier stare uh, in this photo uh, McCullen said in an interview with CNN that you're able to look at the soldier's eyes and see what he's really feeling uh, this is very unique work at the time. Not a lot of people were taking pictures like this, so this uh, gathered fame very quickly. He says, when you look in the soldier's eyes, you can see emotions like um, pain, distress, worry, guilt, and sadness, uh, all the key emotions that come with war, according to McCullen. Uh, he focused on uh, the emotion of the soldiers rather than just shooting them in action all the time because he felt like a lot of people had no clue what these soldiers were really going through and the things that they were told and forced to do. Um, really just opened people's eyes to the reality of war. Um, very few of his photos actually came without a story. Uh, if you want to read more, they're all in his biography. This one has actually a very interesting story with it. In this photo, you can see uh, five terrorists or six maybe, um, young men, all standing above a body in the street. Uh, McCollum said he was trying to take a picture of this body and these terrorists came and they were just telling that him and this group of people around him that they should leave because it was a dangerous area and they were threatening them, pointing their rifles at them, uh, instructing them to leave. And as they were leaving, just before they were out of sight, uh, McCollum snuck to turn around and snuck a picture of the terrorists, as you can see, in their grim smiles. Um, one was playing a mandolin. Uh, kind of an ominous photo. And another one of his most famous photos, let's see if I can get this here. Uh, he traveled to Africa in 1969, um, and he said he met this child, and his heart broke for this child because he already imagined the tough life it was living being uh, an albino child in Africa, and he saw a lot of the other villagers making fun of him and discriminating against it, and they would withhold food from the child. So when he saw how slim and slender the child was, he reached into his pocket and grabbed out the last bit of food he had, which was just a tin of candy. Uh, as he watched the child eat it, he saw the child savor every last bite and everybody else was watching jealously but 
you can see in the kind of photos that he takes, Don has a very big heart for these people. Um, and he just wanted to show the world what kind of lives they were living so that we can all have our eyes open. And that's a very respectable form of photography. Um, not only were his photos well developed, but they were, they had a story and emotion and heart attached, which I think makes him one of the most unique photographers and which is why I found him so interesting. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed.